so short. That's okay, I'll go. <laughs> so I, I'm here with uh, Natalie from the Brazen Brits. Hello. And we're here at the Gas Stop booth, just um, meeting with some folks and talking about Gas Stop. What do you think? I, I think it's an awesome booth and you have been selling them like hotcakes. So, you know, this is your salesman right here, Gas Stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you know, when you believe in, in something and it keeps us safe, safe on the road, and I know you guys use it. Yep, so we're big fans. It's definitely worth investing in. That's right. All right. Live from the Florida Super, super Show RV. Where are we? <laughs> RV Tampa Super Show. Live from the Florida RV Super Show. Raisin Brits, Happy Place Diaries. We'll check in later. Hey, so we had a fantastic time meeting all the great people from Gas Stop at the Florida RV Super Show. And one of the things that um, wasn't really brought to my attention, but it's something that people rarely do, uh, especially those that have the Gas Stop and take advantage of a product that not only will shut off gas, but you can also run a gas systems check to see if you have a slow leak in your system and I thought I'd run you through that real quick. So first of all, I wanna show you that uh, I just turned on our tanks and uh, we're gonna light our stove, get gas into our system and then we'll show you how to check for a slow leak. So let's take a look. All right, so like I said, I turned on the tank. So now we're gonna show that we have gas in our system and we have a flame there on the uh, cooktop so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that off we're gonna make sure that all of our appliances that use gas are off so our refrigerator is currently running on electric so I know that it's not pulling any gas uh, our furnace is not pulling any gas it's completely shut down and so now we're going to go outside and show you the rest of the slow leak process. So now that we've put gas in the lines, we've shut off all the appliances inside. We're going to turn off the gas outside and then I will show you that uh, how you could check for a slow leak. Okay, so both of our tanks are on right now and you see that we've got gas that's in the green and gas that's in the green okay now we're gonna go ahead and turn off our tanks okay now all we need to do is watch that needle so if that needle starts to move down toward the red then we know we have a slow leak somewhere Check this one, and that needle has not moved. And you can check back in a few minutes, but if you have a slow leak, you'll start seeing that needle will drop pretty rapidly. So that's how you know if you have a slow leak in your gas line. It's a really good idea to just make that part of your pre-trip routine. It really doesn't take any time. It is a good idea. Uh, to bleed the line by starting your oven or your stove, starting a, an appliance that's going to pull gas, turn everything off, and then just watch that needle. You'll know if you have a slow leak. And we don't. And we also have the peace of mind with Gas Stop that if we have a rapid leak, things are going to shut down real quick. 
Okay, so that's the tip for today. Again, we had a wonderful time with the folks from Gas Stop. Can't thank Nick, Mike, and Tracy enough for everything that they did for us uh, while we were down in Florida. Super people. Hey, and if you're interested in getting yourself a Gas Stop, right now Gas Stop is running a super sale. And if you use the code HPDGAS, HPD gas, it'll be right here. Um, you will get 12% off of your gas stop purchase plus free shipping. Can't beat that for a little bit of insurance, a little bit of peace of mind. Uh, we believe in the gas stop. Again, when we're in bed, our tanks are about 18 inches from our heads. I don't want any problems with gas, especially when I'm sleeping. So, use the link below to buy your gas stop. Use the code HPDGAS at checkout, and you'll get 12% off. Can't beat it. All right. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for coming along.